Birges and Nerius from the stunt team. You should not stay close to the bike when he's trying that. Now it's getting better, huh? Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to another Rock On episode. And today we're gonna teach Ange, our filmer, how to drift. You've been asking me for a while now, Rock, please teach me how to drift. Yeah, that's true. But you are doing freestyle skiing, motocross, you name it, all the action sports. So you have the feeling for it. You are not really learning from zero, I would say. That's because true. drifting is a next level trick you learn. It's not like making a wheelie. It's way easier to, than to learn how to drift. So you need to have some basic uh, skill. So time to change the gear. Okay, then. It's your... Uh, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna take care of it. We're gonna film you and we're gonna, of course, teach you. And when I say we, we are not alone. I have my friends here. Virges and Nerius from the stunt team, maybe you know them already. They've been battling us in the drift battles. It was a fun time and today we're not going to battle each other. We, today we're going to together teach Ange how to drift. You ready guys? <laughs> okay, so let us show you how you can drift. Before you start to drift, the rider needs protective gear. So if you start from head to toe, you need a helmet, you need a motorcycle jacket with protectors on the shoulders, on the elbows, gloves, then uh, riding pants with protectors on the knees and riding boots. And beside that, I'm gonna stay in touch with Ange with this Cardo headset. I'm gonna give him instructions while he is riding. This time we have a fully set up stunt bike. But for drifting, you can only do it on the street bike also. When it comes to bike setup, the safety is the top priority. So the crash cages is the main part you want on your bike. The next step is front axle sliders, as well as the rear axle sliders. When you have your bike protection sorted, the next step is the rear sprocket. On this bike, we have a bigger rear sprocket, which gives us more torque and easier way to drift the bike. So the last important thing you should consider is the tire pressure. The more pressure you have, the easier it would be to spin the tire. Drifting is an advanced skill. So before you try to learn it, make sure you're feeling comfortable with the clutch, throttle and foot brake control. And yeah, before you even start to drift, you need to learn how to do a rolling burnout or a donut because that gives you a feeling how the tire slips, how you need to release the clutch and add the throttle and so on. So if you don't know yet how to do it, you have a how to vlog that we did already. You can click here, somewhere here above us. Now let's put Ange on the bike and let's start to teach him how to drift. Yeah. So Ange, yeah. today we are learning how to drift and the drifting with motorcycle is a combination of a three things. Okay, which one? Entering the drift with a nice light, the drift itself, how to yeah. control it, and third one is getting out safely. Oh, safely, yeah, safely, I like yeah. that box. And today Ange, we are starting from the basics. So you need to feel the slippage of the rear tire, first of all, and for that we're gonna do the rolling burnout technique which requires a uh, front brake and how do you feel so far i'm a bit nervous but excited okay so gear up warm up and let's go okay take it easy <laughs> Okay, one, two, three, radio check. Uh, okay. Okay, Andre, I see that you warmed up already. Come to me. How do you feel on this monster? It's pretty scary. Pretty yeah. scary, yeah? And powerful. So, because the surface on has so much grip, we need first to overheat the tire. So, what, how are we gonna do it? We, you're gonna do some rolling burnouts. You said you know how to do them. So, with that, you're gonna overheat the side of the tire. Yeah, don't be afraid to put a little gas. Woo! <laughs> 
we're gonna go for the next exercise which is actually wider rolling burnouts and this is gonna create for you you will feel that your rear tire is getting less and less grip because it's overheating and you will feel also that you need to use the front brake less and less mm -hmm. because it starts to slip and then you don't need to press that hard the front brake okay. so uh, that you differentiate the tricks also for the people that watch if you do a rolling burnout it's with the front brake but if you drift it's without using your front brake that's a drift and this is the goal today so first we need to feel when we lose the rear grip that's the next uh, next goal so let me see some wider faster uh, donuts okay let's do it <laughs> yeah. how is your feeling so far tired already it's <laughs> i'm super tense on the bike trying to hold it up uh, it's not as easy as it looks anymore. Sun Rider in the making. Yeah, put more weight on the up the front. Okay, Andy, we are getting there. We are getting there. What do you think, Virgis? What's the next thing we should uh, improve? Uh, you look very comfortable doing those donuts. That's a very good sign. The next step, what we're gonna do is when you're in the circle, doing circles and feeling comfortable, try to play with the throttle and the mm -hmm. front brake a little. Okay. So you can counter steer and feel the grip changing in the rear tire. Is very slightly. Yeah, Don't yeah. go on off. It's gonna be a difference. Yeah. Uh, and then boom, boom. after you control the throttle, then you can release the front brake. So that's the very next step. Yeah, I could feel when I put a little bit more travel, the rear tire tried to slip out a little bit more. Yeah. mistake I forgot to put fuel in my bike <laughs> so how is it will you survive dude it's super fun must admit like the funnest thing you can do on your road bike probably it's more grippy than I expected you need to really push the throttle so the rear wheel slips on its own uh, it helps me to push the front brake that's not the goal we have to drift and drifting is no brakes then you can play. Don't be such, you know, intense person. How can I not be? <laughs> Don't be intense. <laughs> Don't be intense. We just learned how to drift, yeah. and maybe you can high side break your collarbone and legs and. Yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> so don't be intense, yeah, of course. Yeah, it's yeah. a good thought. Yeah. Yeah. Room, okay. Couple of good revs with the throttle, and you're gonna feel it. Let's see. Good luck. Okay, let's go. <laughs> camera guy Sandy you should not stay close to the bike when he's trying that so be careful be more away from him he has good footage at the very beginning you can put more throttle so there's less grip okay. The hardest thing to do in a drift to, to get to that point.
close to full circle, right? Welcome to the Drift Club! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Drift Club, Andre! Damn, it gets, it's so much more fun and so much more proper when you actually let go of the brake so much better. It is, right? Yeah, so, so much Special feeling. Yeah, it's a huge which, difference. Which only the drift riders know. <laughs> and now I'm one of them. Let's yeah, go. No, you're one of them. <laughs> Woo! Sick, bro. I'm so proud of you. And thank you guys. Without you, we wouldn't teach him in a one day to do a one circle in drifting. And you probably will see it on the onboard of the GoPro how he releases the front brake. And once you do that and you're spinning the tire, that's the drift and yeah guys thank you for watching that vlog if you have some questions if you're trying the tricks from on your own how to drift or how you roll to do rolling burnout or whatever dr trick you want to learn drop comments below we will try to answer them and thank you virgis and Arius, for joining us pleasure and Ange, now you can keep the job huh? thanks because <laughs> <laughs> the thing was the deal was if he doesn't drift today he loses the job <laughs> no. <laughs> but I'm, su I'm, su <laughs> I'm super proud of what? him. What? I didn't know about that deal. What? <laughs> <laughs> and man, I'm so proud of him. Now we have a filmer that can actually drift the bike. So if I injure myself, you can actually do the shows. Yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, actually. Okay, yeah. okay. okay. <laughs> so thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Until then, rock Bravo. on. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh. Drift. <laughs> drifting, drifting. Ah, yeah. Drift boys for life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>